if we have to uh, decarbonize our vital resources like energy, water, and nutrition, in my opinion, the first and the easiest step can be decentralization. I am proposing a concept called a sustenance roof. That is, I am on the rooftop of my house. Uh, we have similar kind of uh, projects also. So idea is this roof, uh, we, are leveraging, we are leveraging this roof. That is, we are using the rooftop as a tool to fight climate change. How do we do that? Most of our vital uh, requirements like energy, water, nutrition, waste management, everything can be actually addressed from the rooftop. That's the entire concept of a sustenance roof. Here is actually a working model. To start with, we have got the solar system here. So all our energy requirement is actually met by the solar PV system. Here also you have got two kinds of system, an off-grid solar system and an on-grid solar system. The off-grid solar system actually meets all our critical energy requirement during the day as well as in the evening. This is the on-grid system in which it also services our loads. The excess energy goes back into the power utility grid. The same space actually is used to actually grow most of our uh, uh, vegetables, most of our requirements in terms of nutrition. So there are plenty of videos of this. Everything is given in the description below. So the idea or this concept is called agrovoltaics. That is, we are using the same space below the solar panels to grow our food. So this concept is agrovoltaics or agrovoltaics, where we are trying to grow some amount of nutrition here. So the next is water. Uh, water. See now we are using the same catchment, our uh, solar panels, as a catchment to catch our uh, rainwater, and this water actually goes into our rainwater harvesting system. The water fall which falls on the on the ground goes into a recharge well. I'll show both of them once we go down. The next and very important is the waste management, and also and another concept of uh, nutrition. What we see here is actually a biogas digester. If you can come this side. I can I can show you. So all of our uh, vegetable waste actually goes into this biogas digester. So we have put some some waste over the last two days. It has converted into gas here. This gas is used for cooking. So all of our cooking energy requirement is met by this biodigester. You can see here. There's also some amount of waste. Actually, I have mixed with water and I've kept it here. It's as simple as collecting the waste, mixing it with water and just putting it into this digester. So not only the waste of our house, we are also picking up some waste from our neighbors and friends. And the waste which I have just put inside this digester converts into usable methane in about less than a day, depending on the temperature. And most importantly, the byproduct of this entire exercise is a very rich uh, liquid fertilizer. Again, this fertilizer can be mixed with water. I've done it here. And this can be used as nutrition to the plants. So the biogas digester meets our energy requirements for cooking. It also manages all our household waste, gives enough and more fertilizer for so many uh, plants here. So we also have a solar cooker here. So essentially, this uses this IR radiation of uh, of, of the sun and we can cook our rice and dal. I've given some videos here. Of course, this can cannot be used in all weather conditions throughout the year. This works mostly in summer, but we are actually trying to do some development here so that this can be made into an all weather cooker. We can also recover the heat from below the solar panels and feed it into that. That R&D is actually going on. So we also have a small solar panel there, which actually uh, charges a small battery uh, here. And this can be used for uh, watering our plants. So this is the dead. Now solar energy is actually used for watering. So now uh, uh, we will go down. I will show you a few more things that, that we have set up here. So uh, of course, we have also a solar pumping unit on the other side. I will I will show you that. That actually pumps the water from the sump to the overhead tank. As I said, this actually, this actually uh, produces some amount of cooking gas. However, this has some amount of impurities. We have a small filtration unit to actually filter this gas. As we go down, I will show it to you.
So as I was talking, the, the gas comes into uh, this filtration unit. We have got a filtration to filter the gas so that uh, relatively pure methane gets into our uh, cooking stove. You can just go inside. Now actually we are uh, cooking uh, some stuff inside. So this is our kitchen. So some, uh, this is our rasam which is getting made now. So the water, the rainwater harvesting unit comprises of the water which falls on the solar panels gets into the sedimentation tank. From there the water gets into a filtration tank, the water gets filtered here. Then it goes into our sump, that's our sump for storage, we use for portable purposes. Then the water overflows from there and the other surface water gets into this recharge. 